All right, so I just realized the other day that it's been a long time since I posted any updates on this uh, on this poacher build. So I just thought I'd give you an update of where I am so far, and it's probably not going to be any different from the last video I posted, except for this one will be a whole lot shorter. Bottom line is, it has been cold, and it's cold in the garage, and when it's cold in the garage, I just don't feel like coming down here to work in the garage. Um, if you remember from the last video, and again, my primary purpose for this is because I know there's there's a couple of you that uh, have posted comments on how you're building your own, um, maybe not this particular poacher, but another poacher, and, um, and it seems like a couple of you um, appreciate some of the stuff I've been putting out here. And I do appreciate those comments and that feedback, and I actually sort of feel in bad that it's been forever since I posted any, any uh, updates. Um, so I just wanted to let you know that I'm still working on it. Well, not actively now, because like I said, I'm freezing my butt off even now doing this video. So see, I'm, I'm, I'm suffering for you guys. I'm freezing my butt off to get a video out um, to tell you that I'm not doing anything. Um, but anyways, so as soon as the weather starts getting a little bit warmer, I'll be back um, finishing this thing up. I do want to get this poacher build done sooner than later. Um, so just a few things here. You know, this door panel here, this is pretty much done. I'm satisfied with this. I just have to make the little latch handle here. Um, I just got to finish wrapping this one, which is quick and easy, shouldn't take much time at all. This door panel is not painted, and I've not done anything on the inside here. Uh, whereas on this one, I've got all the extra support around here. I've drilled the holes right here and here. And there's another hole here and another hole here. And those are for screws that will then go into tabs here and here and here and here. And that will hold this in place instead of putting screws on the outside like you're supposed to. I just think that will look a lot nicer. Now this panel, if you remember last time, I did have some issues painting. I got impatient a couple of weeks ago. The weather was probably... 55 or 60 so I thought I'd try to paint it again and as you can tell it's very orange peely it's not good at all um, I did get rid of that little speck that was up here mostly there's a little bit of an indent of it there's paint in there so I think what I can do is just wet sand that smooth and put a clear coat on it and it'll be good to go um, but I don't want to do any more painting until it's at least 70 because the instructions on the can say it's supposed to be 70 it was a lot cooler than that when I did it, so I'm thinking maybe the paint is just too thick if it's too cold, and it just comes out thick and looks bad. So I'm going to wait until it's 70 before I paint this other panel or put the clear coat on this. Like I said, I still have to sand that down. Um, so, um, And on the instrument panel, I think you saw this already. I really don't remember what I did in the last video, but I'm pretty sure I showed this. That's with the Mother of Pearl cut out. I've got the instruments in there. Uh, those probably aren't in the right spot. Uh, I need to verify the instructions exactly which spot they go, and they just pop out. I can push that and pop them out. And I have to open up these holes here. i got to open those up just a tiny bit to get those other little switches to put in and open that hole up a little bit right here. That one. i got to open that up a little bit and open those up a little bit. And um, put the glove box doors on, and this is pretty much done then. Um, very pleased with the way that Mother of Pearl turned out. And um, and once I finish this door leather here, uh, the leather work is pretty much done. Um, that's the last little bit I have to do with the leather. And so the interior, like I said, is pretty much done. So what I really need to focus on now is paint, but it's just too cold to do the paint. So as soon as the weather picks up, you know, 70 degrees or so, I'm going to try to knock out all the painting, get all the painting done on the fenders, the hood, the body, the doors, get all that painting done. Then I can focus on getting the body and the interior on the chassis and then put all the chrome pieces on, the little, um, all the little metal pieces and headlights and start with that convertible top. So I hope to have this done, um, you know, this summer, you know, this spring or summer and, um, and get this back to my friend, get it in his house and out of mine. So anyways, sorry there's no real progress here, but I just wanted to make sure you guys knew that I'm still 
planning on finishing this and I hope to get some more videos out soon and get this done soon. So, you know, if you're still building yours, you're working on yours, um, you know, good luck, have fun with it. Uh, they're, they're not easy models, but um, that's, you know, part of the, part of the fun, I think, trying to figure out issues and challenges. So anyways, I'm going to stop rambling um, and, um, and I will put out some other videos of another project I started, but it's, it's an, it's more of a uh, warmer project because I can do this in the, in the um, office where it's heated. It's more of a uh, sitting at a computer drafting parts and then putting those on a 3D printer. So I'll start putting some of those videos out. Um, if you don't have an interest in that, no worries. I won't be offended if you, uh, if you're not into that 3D printed project, but, uh, I'm kind of excited about it. I think it's pretty cool. So check that one out. Hopefully that'll be coming out in a couple of days. So as always, until next time, thanks for watching.